Actually, is that why I've been... Nah, let's just get them to level 5. Doesn't look like anyone's following us. Maybe they gave up. Looks like it, but stay on your guard. I wonder if Kasane's team got out all right. Who knows? Don't care. Closing in. It's a big one. Dead ahead. Nah, not today, bro. <laughs> I just fought another boss a while ago. Not nah, bro. No. Dad, even though you look cool though. <laughs> It's not my Other day. Others? It's not my day. Are you okay? <laughs> not now. Drink that drug. No. There's no way I can drink that. You gotta take the drugs, bro. Take the drugs. I'm you must do drugs. Fine. Now uh, drug yourself. No no bro. I swear, if I die because of you. Oh gosh. Oh, oh no no no. Oh no no no. Oh you I died didn't I? Wake up! Wake up! No! No! I <laughs> get oh man. I called it. I called it. I knew it. Alright, I was being an idiot. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I could have prevented that. And I saved, right? Yeah, yeah, I saved. Uh, for this very moment. Alright. Oh no, come on. And there you go. There you go. Come on, that should be enough. That should be enough to kill this guy. Brain drive. Finish her. Come on. Yes, let's freaking go. Let's go. <sighs> that really tires me out. <laughs> I love finishing in brain drive. Target eliminated. And everyone's safe. That shit was a bitch. Don't strain do. yourself. <laughs> I'm better now. Sorry I made you worry. Yuito, can you and your platoon hear me? Kasane. Oh, I'm glad you're okay. Are you near us? Yes, but we're closer to Togetsu than you, and we're still running. Let me make a suggestion. You learned something in there, right? Why don't we exchange intel? And... We have a lot to talk about. Oh, we do, girl. We yeah, do. I was thinking she wouldn't want to talk. Okay. I was thinking the same thing. Good. That settles it. We'll be waiting halfway up Hiano Mountain. Roger that. See you then. Sorry. I should have checked with you guys first. You're the one Kasane is after. If that's what you want to do, I don't mind. But can you trust her? I told you that she saved me in Togetsu. I think she had a reason for trying to kill me. So I want to talk to her. What are you going to do if she doesn't want to talk and just attacks you? Then I'll fight. Okay. If you say so, Commander. Let's get down the mountain for now. Wait, I thought they were closer to Togetsu, right though. How she sounded, we should be able to talk. Or I, mis I probably misread that. So, all right. I'm a little worried about meeting up with Kasane. I mean, I hope we can talk to her, but... I'm not just going along blindly, but it was your decision. I want to respect that. Yeah. Let me get the materials around here. All right. Damn it. <gasps> no! They're here. Let me get the... It's all of Kasane platoon. Kasane! Looks like all of you made it out okay. Baby girl, I'm I hate you in the far right. Yoka. I should be thanking you. And I forgot. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane. You're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? And an awesome boy cut her in the back. I already told you. She was the one that saved me. I know. But I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes, I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? 
Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. I tried to kill you because I was asked to. By you. 50, 50 years, years into the future. the future. Me? 50 years in the future? What are you talking about? I completely understand how you feel. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, there's no way I would have believed it either. Do you remember when Captain Seto died on the Kunod Highway, and we saw that strange sight? My time travel power, the red strings, activated. Then we jumped 50 years into the future. What? You went to the future? Red strings. That's right. You said you have dreams about those. They were in dreams. In dream. Visions. I have the ability to travel through time. A power called red strings. That's too broken. And Yuito. Apparently, you have the same power as well. So we could travel what? in time? I know we both use psychokinesis, but that's not what you're saying. It seems you understand these red strings a lot better than the rest of us. Just where did you get that knowledge? Was that from the future too? Yes, it was. We saw Yuito in the future. He told me quite a lot. He also asked you to kill me. Right. <laughs> I'll tell you everything I learned. In the telling future. the that someone else to kill you questions. in the past. Damn. I totally Who knew that I already. First. Ooh. All right. All right. All right. Who we're gonna ask? We're gonna leave. Oh, we only have. Damn. 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 Does that mean we only get one shot at talking? Hmm. Mm. All right, let's go from the person we hate the most because if we go to the per this first person They'll show more appreciation and be a little bit more honest, you know, maybe maybe I don't know if that's right in that world The Kunad gate was much bigger than it currently is here in our time The end of the world That's what it looked like It seems that in that future the gate had expanded so much that nothing could be done to stop it all right, that goes along with what the other chick said in the Togetsu church, whatever. So that adds up. At first, none of us could believe what we had heard in the future. It was just too hard to swallow. We got some news in Seiron, then a bunch of stuff happened, and now we can pretty much believe it. But I have to admit, it's got to be hard to believe just hearing it for the first time. Nah, if, I, if, I, if that happened to me, I, I probably... Nah, who knows? Probably would have reacted the same way. And let's go to Kyoka. It was when Kasane used the red strings that the Kunod gate opened. But when her power activated, it resonated with yours, Yuito. That's why the gate won't close. On top of that, the gate seems to be slowly expanding. And looking at the news we got from Seiron, it more or less matches up. Mm-hmm. All right, baby girl. The thing that appears when the red strings are used is like a device to time travel. That's apparently what the Kunad gate is. So, it's a wormhole. So, uh, what was that theory about the black hole time travel and stuff? So, pretty cool. Normally, it appears only for an instant and disappears immediately, but this time it didn't go away. Left open like that, the gate will eventually swallow the world. It was really bad 50 years in the future. Hey, that means I... 50 years in the future, I'd probably be dead. Nah, no hate me, I'd probably be still there. Alright, now let's go with you. The power we both have is actually gravikinesis. It just looks like psychokinesis. I could see that, gravikinesis instead of psychokinesis. But, what's the difference? The other one manipulates gravity and this one manipulates what? The mind? When that gravikinesis becomes strong enough to travel through space and time, it's called red strings. I had no idea about that either. The Kunan Gate will disappear if Yuito dies. That's what future Yuito said. That just can't be true. It was already too late in the future, which is why he asked me that favor. He wanted me to kill you in the past, so the Kunan Gate could be eliminated before it got too large. So my power affected the Kunad Gate. I've had a bad feeling since listening to that vision in Togetsu. I can't believe I was right. So you knew? Yeah. 
I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So, the me in the future... I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. <sighs> How lame. <laughs> Damn, it's hard to kill it's yourself. Not true. The you in that time was great. And you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. Hey, is she flirting? Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. Okay, I'm looking into too How much. I have the same power as you. That reminds me. How is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? No. Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. All right. We should exchange intel. Then first and foremost, we got some questions. Especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka, are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes, I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. Sounds crazy when you, you look back. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Hey, if I she says it, it's, it's probably right. What? That was fast. The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka. You're getting your girls jealous. Decision myself, <laughs> but I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do, and I thought it was best to trust her. Hey, okay. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden. There's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. It's kind of yeah, annoying. I just remembered how stupid he is. Yeah, uh, I'll give you that. Hey, Kasane, if Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes, I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? Yo, that extrapolate is a big word. I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Are you single? Yeah, there is. <laughs> if you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. Huh? <gasps> head or something <laughs> uh, so you guys don't know that's that. hilarious that's hilarious wait what he said is true y yes all right i guess we should explain what we've been told we're from the moon we learned all of this after looking through togetsu's archive so i honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it but if you were a togetsu spy kyoka you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... What's it's the real no. truth? It's true. It's all for real. What do you mean, Kagura? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Goddamn, intimacy. Kagura, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. 
I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. <laughs> Called sleep. Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. <laughs> what? They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth. And then we're supposed to contact the moon. <laughs> what type oh, of BS is this, man? Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Look, uh, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything. But it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth. So those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon too. Seriously? So they got to thinking, what can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The red strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again and repeat this history? Yes. To be precise, the plan is to only take the moon and Earth back in time with a few exceptions. What? Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? <laughs> They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time. So future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous. I don't know how to take it all in. I'm surprised I can't even take some of it in. Or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the Red Strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that. Although... It's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over New Himuka or Seiron. If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No, that's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagero, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great and all, but how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But whatever happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. All right. Sugumi. Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust her judgment. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him, too. Hey, hey, hey. And if Yui too yes. does, then I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. Ooh, damn, what a threat. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I keep making fun of them for being naive, but that's what ends up saving me. If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon too. And then figure out what we can do knowing that. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do. But it's too much for us to handle alone. We need someone who can move nations. Are you going to ask New Himuka for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that New Himuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both New Himuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the moon colonists and their history. 
On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to Nuhimuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the So we're going thing. up against Tagetsu in the end? Let's do our best. Is that what I'm getting? Hopefully that's what it is. Anyways, uh, we're going to end up the stream the moment I get to the nearest save. Which, oh, we could go to the hideout. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to the hideout. Do -do 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 -do. Boom. Alright, I'm assuming we're going to have more bonus episodes to do. But... Yep, never mind. More story. I didn't think we'd find out so much in Togetsu. This is all so unexpected. All we did was go to Togetsu, but it felt like such a long journey. Oh, tell me about it. Everyone. That was a lot to take in. It's a bit difficult to accept it all. But I'm glad we know now. The world we normally see is so small, but our horizons have expanded. And now it's clear that there's another world out there. I'm glad we're on better terms with Kasane, too. That's one less thing to worry about. Hey, everyone. About the Kunad Gate. How your power is affecting it? Oh, Haruka let me see Seiron's investigation into it, but the results were the same. At least we know it really is, well, getting bigger. Did we ever see her sister? What if Yuito doesn't use his power? If he avoids combat, for instance? No, I looked at the Kunad Gate investigation papers as well. At this point, I couldn't really find a link between Yuito's specific actions and the gate's expansion. What? So it doesn't have anything to do with Yuito? No, you could say that just the existence of his power is affecting it. It's pretty much safe to assume that the gate will continue to expand as long as Yuito lives. Right. I am sorry for how that sounded, but it's probably... Is there a way to camouflage and fake his death? <laughs> I don't know, just an idea. I'm glad you told <laughs> me. Nothing will change if I try to ignore it. If it's like you say, then I don't need to worry about staying out of fights, do I? We do not know all the details about the Kunad Gate, but I think that is correct. What are you thinking, Yuito? I want to ask you all a favor. Kill me. What is it? After hearing all that in Togetsu... I'd be lying if I said I didn't think that killing me was the only option for us now. <laughs> but there are still things I need to do. Things, things I, need I need to, to learn. learn. We can never say for certain that there is no other way unless we search for one. Unless it's too late and then everyone Just dies. Like we didn't know about the moon until we went to Togetsu. There might be a way to stop the gate that we don't know about yet. I'm sure Kasane had the same idea. And that's why she stopped trying to kill me. So... I want you to help me think of a way to get rid of the Kunad Gate. Huh, you had me a little anxious for a moment. Of course we'll help you. <laughs> Just kill him. Gemma's right. That would have been funny. That was the plan all along. Don't forget about my info network. I'll find out even the most secret information. Want to be best. Best boy. There you go. No matter what's going on with the world. Be the homie. You have to remember we're a team. There has to be a way. And I know we'll find it if we look together. We have to save both you and Famous the world. last words. Famous last words right there. You got that it. smile too. I thought you'd say that, but I guess I was a little worried. So thank you. And we reached the standby face. Woo! Humans came from the moon, and the earth is going extinct. It's so much at once that my head is spinning. <laughs> we have to understand it all, though, so we can keep moving forward. Oh, we have Bond episodes? No, no Bond episodes. What about with Wataru? No Bond episodes, no nothing. I'll probably interact with them later. Oh, oh, oh Bond episode. We we'll potentially get level 5 next, 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 um, next stream. Another one, potentially level 3, and we get the squad to level 3. I, I don't mind that either. Alright. 
I guess I'm gonna do a couple things off screen to try to like level up our materials uh, for the meantime. But uh, let's see. How, how many points? We have zero points. So this is our. We unlocked almost everything on the expand option. We haven't really finished any of this, like enhancements or whatever. Oh my god. There's so much still left to like unlock. I just realized that. Oh well. Anyways. Uh, let's see. Are there any other messages? I just want to do that. Let's see what we have to look in store for. Uh, let's see. Mr. Kagero. Ooh, a Bond episode. No, yeah, this is a Bond episode. Let's see what else. Uh, let's see. Yo, remember what we talked about before? I'm going to teach you how to have fun, just like I promised. Send me a message when you're ready. I'll be waiting on Sirion. Uh, okay, so we're going to go on Sirion. And that's it. What the heck? Um, let's read this last one and we'll call it a stream. I'm worried that we don't understand what happened to me. So tell me if I get anything wrong. Hey, that's Hanabi. That's Hanabi is my mood. This is me. So Kazan and Yuito both have the same power and it's called the Red Strings. Correct. Red Strings a time travel power. Thanks, Luca. So then uh, the Kunai Gate is a time traveling gate that Kasane opened. It won't close because Yuito's power is resonating with hers and Yuito's. It will close if Yuito dies. So future Yuito asks Kasane to kill him. I don't understand. Even though Yuito himself did ask for it i would never do that because she loves us too much yes there should be another way kagero said to get to's go is to make it so there was never any immigrants i feel like kagero was finally honest with us a little he said they wanted to use the restrooms to trim back time and erase the entire history of ever emigrating to earth only turning back time for a portion of the universe is completely unbelievable but anything is impossible in this world but so much we've seen has been unbelievable. Thanks, everyone. I feel like that really simplified the information we have. Can I repeat that myself? No, I cannot. <laughs> I really have, like, a short brain. So, anyways. So, I think we got, like, three bonus episodes to look forward to in the next stream. And I think that's all I really have for today. Uh, I've been streaming for two hours, and I'm looking forward to it. So, we're going to go and do our final save. And bam. Do we reach level 40? I don't remember. Are we level 40? I don't think we're level 40. Oh, no, we're not. We're barely level 39. So anyways, once again, thank you everyone who's been here on the stream for however long or you just drove by like a little quick drive by. Also, if you haven't already followed and you're still here, what are you doing? And for those who are on YouTube, uh, smash this, uh, smash this, but smash the like button. If you haven't already consider subscribing, if you haven't already, once you do hit the notification bell to be updated with all Square Nexus content onto the channel. And if you're still watching this from YouTube all the way to this episode, it means the world to me. Anyways, with that being said, this has been your random boy and I'll see you guys in the next stream, next YouTube video. And the next thing I decide to do. I don't know if the next thing I'll be doing is Scarlet Nexus next stream. I'm deciding to maybe like give Fridays for like a special stream to do something else aside from Scarlet Nexus. I don't know what it might be, but that's what I'm thinking for the following week. So yeah, but as for tomorrow, I will be streaming again Scarlet Nexus and so on and so on and so on. I still don't have a schedule yet, but I will figure it out at some point. <laughs> uh, hopefully I get it resolved by the end of this week. So with that being said, again, this has been your boy Gizmo GizmoJX. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Randomies out. All right. I just finished streaming and I forgot to say thank you to Superman underscore 16 for coming by on the stream. Even though he was lurking, I do want to say thank you very much for stopping on by for the stream. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye bye.